How's it going, everybody? Kyle, or Epic here, with another episode of Epic FAQ. And the comment question winner from the last video is by Mr. Polly P3, who only got three likes on this, so let's try and go back and ask some really good questions, you guys, and let's start going back and thumbing up the good questions. Epic, if you could be on any parkour team, or represent any type of team, which would it be, and why? Which is a pretty good question, I think. I think it's a pretty valid question. Personally, I don't like the idea of teams, but don't just not become a part of a team because I say I don't like them. There's good benefits and there's bad benefits, but my true answer for you, just to answer this right off the bat, is I would not rather be on any parkour team right now, and I wouldn't want to represent any team. I mean, if they were to give me a shirt, yeah, I would wear this shirt during a training session and put it on YouTube. I'd have no problem with that. Um, would I say that they're a great team? Yeah, absolutely, because most teams that I've heard of and met, the guys from different teams that I've talked to and met in person at events and things like that, they're all really great people, so... I've had a good experience with a lot of the different people that I've met, but personally, I find it easier to not be a part of a team just because I get to focus more on myself, although it does make it harder for me work-wise because I do kind of everything on my own, whereas in a team, you would have maybe one guy who's really good at social networking, really good at the marketing thing. He would be the go-to guy if somebody wanted to hire a group of guys for a gig, and they would hire, they would talk to him who would represent the team, and then he'd be like, hey guys, this guy wants us to do a gig, what do you guys think, you wanna do it? Cool, let's do it. And then bam, you know, you have everybody who has their own expertise. And then maybe it is another guy in the group who does most of the filming and stuff, you know, most of the photography, most of videography, everything like that. Then maybe there's another guy who's just a badass at editing. Maybe he's the guy who does all the editing for your team's videos and puts it on YouTube and stuff. So, it kind of you know, it kind of varies. Everybody kind of has their own like unique, you know, individual expertises and, you know, everybody has their own skill sets, but for me, it's just easier because I get to focus on what I want to do. I know how I want things to get done, and I can do it all on my own and kind of be in control of everything, but maybe one day I'll join a team, and being part of a team really is a lot easier, but I feel like a lot of people want to be a part of a team just to be a part of a team, which I think is kind of lame. Um, when I started Trick Set way back in the day, I would get random people coming to me asking to be a part of Trickset, and I would like think to myself, like, I don't even know you. Who are you? Like, why do you want to be a part of Trickset? What is so cool about Trickset? And then I only came to find that they just wanted to be a part of Trickset just so they could be, you know, part of this famous group that was so cool for some reason. And it was just a bunch of guys who just all kind of knew each other, and we all trained together, and we liked the same stuff. So, you know, we all did parkour, free running, and tricking. So we just like, hey, let's make a team. Let's Call a trick set, something like that. But I don't know. I've done the whole team thing. It was fun while it lasted. Maybe I'll join a team another day. But for now, I kind of stand alone. It's just, it shouldn't be about wanting to get a bunch of people together just so you're not the only one in your area. Just so you can not feel alone. Because sometimes it's okay to stand out. Sometimes it's good to be that only light or that one light. And then by being that light, somebody else sees that. It's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And you welcome them in. And then you have two lights in the area. And that's how it should really grow, not just because you want to make a name for yourself or be famous or whatever. That shouldn't be what we do is about. So, anyways, that's my answer. Um, I wouldn't want to be on any parkour team or represent any type of team, but maybe one day. Who knows? For now, like I said, I stand alone. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Take great care. Stay positive. And may the next best question win. And ask some good questions this time. And like I said in the beginning of the video, go back and look at some of the really good questions and thumb them up a lot. Don't just sit there and comment or watch this video. Go in the comments right now. Check to see all these really good questions and start thumbing them up so I can get a really good idea of which ones to answer. Make it hard for me. Thanks a lot, you guys. See ya.